You have an opportunity now to see what pigs are going through in these chambers. So look at it. Look at these four animals. Please just have some have some humanity. I'll be going down as we go. We're gonna get caught. Happy pigs in your advertising. Happy pigs, even RSPCA assured pigs, go to the gas chamber. Give your customers some transparency. Shame on Sainsbury's. Shame on Sainsbury's. Hello. Hi. Are you? Hello. Are you corporate affairs director, yeah. are you? No, okay. You. Have you heard uh, what we've been I chanting? We filmed I haven't actually. I just arrived. So Okay, so essentially, the reason we're here is because uh, pigs are being tortured in CO2 gas chambers. Uh, I don't know if you know about that. I don't, but I will. Okay, go you should be. You should be inform yourself. Me and my team got the first footage from inside of a gas chamber in where, the UK. Where is this happening? It's happening in gas chambers all over the UK. You think it's happening so in all of them. Ninety percent of the pigs in the UK are being gassed in CO2. Okay. Okay, and uh, we know for a fact, for a hundred percent fact, that you are being supplied to by companies. At gas do you know peaks. the name of those companies so I yeah. can look into it? You don't know who supplies you with, with pork? I do know who supplies that pork. Okay. Actually, and you don't know how they kill the pigs? Check. I don't know that detail, but I can go and look into it. But if yeah. you give me the names uh, of the companies, I mean, uh, they're likely to be more than one. Yeah, well, I can tell you the names of the companies that do this to yeah. pigs, and then maybe you can see if they're supplying you. So I don't think Pilgrim's Pride is, but Pilgrim's UK is one. Yeah, I've heard of that one actually. Okay. But I don't think it is. Cranswick is another one. Cranswick is one of our suppliers, yep. Uh, I know. Um, Caro Foods. I think maybe you should look into Cranswick if they supply you. They do and, supply, okay. so I want to get into Okay, that. and uh, what would you do if footage come out of one of your suppliers' uh, CO2 gas chambers? What would you do? I need to look into the issue more closely because yeah. I don't understand. Do you, have, do you make any... What, what's your, what power do you have at this company? So I'm the Director of Corporate Affairs. Okay. So when issues like this are happening, it is my responsibility to look into them. Okay. I don't know the specific one in enough detail to understand it at the moment, but I will look into it and so, so your contact details. We're saying let the customer make an informed choice. They are buying the, these pack, this packaging and this marketing, right? You're allowing the, the industry too much. Why, we need a free market where people can make informed decisions and say, that, that by definition, these pigs are being tortured, right? By every scientific, uh, every scientific study done on this topic. Right? I will look into that, but I don't understand the okay. issue, so I... Well, yeah, well, you, but you, should, you should you should be informed, which, I will which is it gross I negligence. Do. That is gross negligence, because you're responsible now. I don't, who does your marketing? You're marketing tortured pigs to consumers, and they do not know. I will look into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do have and you know how, welfare guidelines, yeah, so yeah. if what you're saying is true, I will look into this. Yeah, and this is supposedly the highest. There's no alternative for pigs, so you've got to tell your customers they are being tortured. Are you okay with pay, for paying for that? If they're not okay, they can buy something else. They're still going to Sainsbury's. We, they can buy a product that doesn't contain this. But they're not being informed, so they're being misled because they, it's all green grass and pastures and, and oh, we, we supply a lot of RSPCA. Well, RSPCA pigs go to the gas chamber too. Let me, as I said, let me look into this. Yeah, okay. I don't know enough about You can it. watch Pignorant it talks all about it, but it, okay. If Sainsbury's do not become transparent as soon as possible, we will force transparency because we've investigated one, and right now you have an opportunity to say to the customers, pigs are being literally tortured, cause immense suffering, pain, fear, agony, distress, respiratory distress, so, and, so and you, can, you can say that to them, or they're going to find out, or they're going to find out themselves by a footage. Which, so, let me, I'm going to give you my undertaking. Yeah. I've listened to you. Yeah, you I have. I appreciate that. I don't know enough to comment on it in detail today. There are lots of issues that I do know things about, but this one I don't know enough about. Yeah. To have an informed conversation with you today. But I promise to you that I will go away and look into it, and I will come back to you. Thank you. You've shown a lot of courage to come out here and to face a group full of protesters, so I want to commend you for that. But it is grossly negligent of Sainsbury's not I to know about I've this. Heard you. I understand your point. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, because it's literal pigs being tortured, right? This is a serious topic. It's a I, serious I topic of animal serious, abuse. I, yeah. I just don't have enough knowledge of it okay. myself to have okay. a good conversation with you okay. about it. Uh, well, like uh, you know what? I would, love to, I would love for you to, right now, it will take you one second, right? One second of your time, right now. If you do, do you care about pigs that are being supplied to Sainsbury's? Do you care about them? So. Do you care about what, what Sainsbury's reputation is? Very much so. Yeah, I would too, because you're putting your name on it, right? I just want you to see one minute, 
Oh, uh, I'm not going to do that right now. Why not? I've, I've heard you. Why not? You I'm don't care? Go and look at you don't care? Suppliers, no, you I don't. Care very much. No, you don't. I don't I'll show suppliers. you. have an opportunity now to see what pigs are going through in these chambers. This is our cameras that we put in here. And you can see them suffering to death. I, I don't doubt that. I just need to see which of that relates to saying to raising our suppliers, and I will do that and I'll come back to you. CO2 is CO2. This is 90% concentration, the same that RSPCA assured. Look at them trying to escape. Look at them trying to escape. CO2 causes immense pain, fear, suffering, asphyxiation, causes carbonic acid to form in their eyes and lungs. So they're literally suffering in, in torture. So look at it. Look at these poor animals. Please, just have some, okay. have some humanity. I do, which is why I'm talking to you, but the, the, the light I have to unpick is which of this bit relates to the same to me. So I Cranswick have okay. gas chambers operating so all over the UK. Okay. And what are they going to say? Well, we, there's no alternative. We're searching for alternatives. For 20 years, they've known this is doing this. They're not going to get alternatives. So, you, so we know people are going to buy bacon, and you supply what people want, but you need to tell them and make, so they can make an informed choice. That's it. I will come back. Okay, you. thank you very much. I expect you to. If not, we're going to plaster back. footage all over wherever we can and let uh, let the public know that Sainsbury's are misleading them and they're, they're completely in torturing pigs in gas chambers. All right, that's what we have to do for the animals. I will come Bless back. you. Thank you very much for coming out and talking to us. That was good. I don't expect anything to be done, but um, she showed a lot of courage to come out here. Yeah. That was brave. Yeah. yeah, yeah was like, go, credit where credit is due. People, but it's still walking in oh, like yeah. that when we're shouting and stuff. That takes some <laughs> courage, you know? Yeah. Well. She, yeah. I commend her for that. Yeah. But this gross negligence, still animals are being tortured. I hope she does look into it. Yeah. But I'll give her the benefit of the doubt for now. Yeah. Because she had the courage to come up and, and, and approach us and speak to us. And uh, I think that I'm actually happy with that. And so she could have been a PR state. It, was a, it sounded a bit pr -y. Look, I've heard you. We're going to take it back. I've heard you. We're going to take it back. Um, like most of their yeah, she, she wasn't. Yeah, she, 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 she PR statement. She, she seems like exactly the kind of person that could do something. If she's brave enough to come out here, she's brave enough to go she to might. the big wigs. And Sainsbury's do always respond to investigations. But it is like, we care about animal welfare. We are so, la 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 la, and nothing changes. Bit of lip service. Could be lip service, but give her the benefit of the doubt for now. But she didn't want to watch the pig. Like, wouldn't she be curious to watch the pigs? Yeah. Oh, she found it hard. She's like... You're complicit in their torture. Wouldn't you want to see it? Yeah. If you can't even watch it, why are you feeding it to children? Yeah. yeah.